Today, we're gonna to be talking about a watch that looks more like a piece of fruit than an actual watch. <laughs> Hello, we're Clockbait, I'm Luke. I'm Anthony. And the fruity watch that we have is the Zodiac Super Seawolf, which answers it's fruity because it's nicknamed as the watermelon because mm. it's got the same colours as... Um, well, it looks like a watermelon, doesn't it? But yeah, okay, yeah. It looks like a watermelon. Way. But yeah, first, before we get into the specs of this watch, uh, it'd be really good if you could subscribe. It really helps us out. And you just see plenty of videos like this. You see some silly ones, you see some serious ones. We, we don't take anything too serious, to be fair, do we? No, but, we don't. Um, yeah, so if you enjoy it, please subscribe. <laughs> take a look at our Instagram as well. We've got some really nice images if we uh, if we blow our own trumpet. There's some nice images. Toot your own so, horn. Yeah, toot your own horn. But yeah, the watch. Uh, this has been kind of lent to us by our friend Jan, who's um, lent this in. We, we said on a previous video of the Doxa that we'd like to get one of these in, and a week later. By the way, guys. I've got this if you want to view it. So honestly, the generosity in this community is brilliant. So is thank you so yeah. much uh, for that. And I've loved having this. It's and I've been really eager to Oh yeah, it's to, first to time you've seen it today, yeah, right? Yeah, first time I've seen it today. And because I really want the black one. Yeah. Um, but this looks sublime anyway. But should, should we get straight into the specs? You can do the specs. It's your, uh, your so speciality. So traditional nice 40 mil watch, which I really quite like. 49 mil lug to lug, which is a big surprise. 20 mil lug width, which is lovely, obviously. 13 mil thickness. 200 meter water resistance, super luminova, anti-reflective coating on the sapphire, uh, um, s sapphire, <laughs> and <laughs> crystal. it's also crystal, and it's got sapphire bezel, uh, which is pretty damn nice, uh, solid end link jubilee bracelet with a hidden clasp, absolutely fantastic specs for the money, don't you think? So I know that, you know, it's then said it's 49 lug to lug, which is unusual, and I think you say it's unusual because it has these really long lugs, like mm. really long. Yeah, which they're huge. It, it adds, it looks quite similar to the original one. So, mm -hmm. I, okay, original one. So Zodiac, um, it's not actually a company I was, I, I knew them, but we'd never had one in, have we, a Zodiac at all? No, I and I'd never so. seen one. No, I'd never seen one. No, exactly. So Zodiac, they've been around since the 1800s, and in 1953, they were actually credited at the same time as Blanc Pan at Basel for bringing out the first diver's watch with a rotating bezel, even though it's a contentious issue with Rolex, you were saying about your yeah, telegraph. Yeah, the telegraph, and then the sub the following year, yeah. But anyway, it's an old, <laughs> it's old. It is old, yeah. It's old, this isn't old, this is new. But the, the design and the Zodiac um, Seawolf name is is an old design. And, and, and not only is it old, so they've had plenty of years to perfect this, the design looks very new, but also looks classic as well so mm -hmm. they've really done it quite well with going back to the original looking watch oh they have and they've just modernized it so well i mean it even comes with um uh, an in-house movement basically and well, at this price zodiac point, they zodiac produced their own movements under the name sw is it S -S -S stp stp sorry yeah. so it's swiss stp so this got an stp-13 which is a cost cost certified, certified watch movement. that zodiac at this price point yeah it, it, incredible it's very good and I think the reason they can do that, I mean, there'd be a lot of people out there who will say, well, Fossil own them, so, you know, big company, they're not owned by themselves anymore, so it can't be announced. But if Fossil... All these them, companies can are... Can you imagine the meeting they had? Say, okay, Zodiac, we're going to take you over, but don't worry, you can do what you want. I bet they weren't expecting this. No, <laughs> Without I, these colours. I, I bet they weren't no. either. But th these companies are going to operate... To a certain degree, uh, as an own as their own separate entity. So this is this is how this this amazing stuff happens, and the movement's a good one. It's it um, forty four hour power reserve. It's hacking, hand hand winding, uh, quick date. It's it's a good it's movement. Goodness. It's good. It's not groundbreaking. It's nothing new, but it's a solid no. workhorse, and that's what you want in something like this, yeah. right? You're not expensive for the money because these at the UK they retail on bracelet. I think this retails currently at nine hundred and ninety five pound. I've seen it at. Uh, where is. you can find one, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Which is such a good value for money. I, it really I think, is. I think that is superb value It really for money. is. I mean, what favourite thing about it? Okay, I love the dial. I know you're not a massive silver dial fan. No, I'm not. But so, this... But it works. Oh, it looks amazing. The, the sunburst, uh, it, it's really crisp. But also not in your face sunburst. It isn't changing all over the place. It just it's, works, right? It just it, it, it just, just looks works. it looks like it's got some kind of depth. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the colours, obviously, because it's I was it's, say, it's a bit out it's there. Brave. It, it's but a, it works. It works. It does work. I, I couldn't wear it. 
I'd wear this as a holiday watch, but it's too good to wear solely on holiday. So if I was going to go for one, and I would buy one of these, I'd, I'd just pick another colorway. Um, that's the that's the good thing about these. So the, the Zodiac Super Sea Wolf comes in so many different colorways. It's fantastic. I want the black one with like the Tiffany blue um, second hand. I absolutely love it. I think that's a do, fantastic watch. That's a really good looking watch. It's got mm. a slightly different dial combination to this, but they also do this one, identical watch, but with a navy dial, navy bezel, and it has the orange detailing, which looks really really nice. smart it suits um, it and it's still something different it's not a, a watch or a colorway you'd see all of the time having a no. navy and the orange and it it does does work really well that works really well I, the um it works really well with the sapphire bezel sapphire well. bezel. so it's uh, we recently spent some time in an ad uh blanc pan and they, oh, yeah, they we were looking, looking at the sapphire bezels for some reason i thought they were still like the plastic ones of the the, the days gone by but they're not a sapphire, and now I've kind of fallen in love with sapphire bezels. I mean, that just works. Because so it just the looks way it so plays awesome, with the light, it? It I imagine they could be a bit fragile, but I mean, you that know, looks immense. Because it still looks old. What's unusual, no. right, is if it's a dive watch, it doesn't it doesn't have markers on it. It has markers, but it's not numbered. Now, I don't dive, so I don't know these things, but I can imagine that's a bit of a pain if you don't know what number it is at. You're Maybe. not going to be using this as a dive you're watch. Not, you're I mean, not, there's it's a got bit... 200 meters. I mean, at, but... at a thousand pound, it's 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 not um, it's not immense. It isn't it isn't fantastic quality wise with the bezel. The bezel's got a bit of bit, bit of back play, but it's 120 clicks uh, unidirectional. It, it feels, but there is the, nice, the, the but... back play is a bit worrying. You wouldn't be using that for diving, would you? No. But everything else about the watch does scream quality under macro. That that dial is immense. The hour markers, they're just... They're it's just got these applied hour perfect. markers at the same, the same colour yeah, as on the, the hands. The Zodiac symbol is applied. applied. The hands are really nice. I like the two different colour hands. I like the two different almost style hands. They work on this one. They do. And they're crisp. They're really crisp. The whole dial is crisp. It's, it's you a fantastic... the lug shape yet? Yeah, I think the lug shape is so cool. Yeah, but that's why it sits so close yeah, to the yeah, wrist. Yeah. Even though it's got that 49mm technical. Those lugs are huge, but yeah. for some reason... It works. It, it works for well the bracelet. There's a slight overhang on the lugs compared to the end of the bracelet but that's to be expected it's like a jubilee style bracelet yeah call it. and it's got a lovely kind of, kind of double deployment clasp. and it's almost yeah. hidden as well i really yeah. like that clasp the bracelet on it for, for, for that, again a thousand pound watch what you get from this is fantastic that that bracelet is superb no, well impressed. absolutely superb well impressive one, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really want one i want one more than i thought i wanted one before but the good thing is as well it's not it's not a, it's not a big heavy behemoth do you know what oh, it kind of reminds me of is um a slightly better built um five digit sub oh really okay okay it's almost the same kind of weight as that and it feels like that kind of quality yeah, yeah, I kind of, I kind of get uh, for a thousand pound, <laughs> grand. Yeah, uh, have you got any any complaints with it at all? Any anything that you don't like? Yeah, the the, the back the play and the bezel. It's sometimes it's very hard to forgive the back play and the bezel because that's what you're playing with. Because if you're childish like I am, you're constantly I like your bezel. Play. I'm I'm constantly twiddling my bezel. <laughs> they say if you do it too much, you go blind. <laughs> <laughs> Hence <laughs> the glasses. <laughs> but um, no, uh, other than that. For me, the only thing that is colours. the crown. I don't think the crown is. There's, oh yeah. There's there's a few things wrong with the crown, and I know why they've done it. They've got this particular style, which is really really. Um, it pays homage to the original. It's got kind of, but it's only a tiny bit of, none in there, and you, you can barely get your hands in because of the over the overlap on the bezel. I think it's just, but it, it's a minor thing, really. It is a minor thing. It is. So obviously you've got the watch case, then you've got the bezel, which sticks out further than the actual watch case, yeah. and because of the crown isn't big enough, if you want to wind it, it's it's, it's quite difficult, especially if you have clumsy thumbs. Um, I've just noticed something else I quite like on the bracelet. It's got a slight bit of stretch. Oh, I didn't That's know that. That's genius. I don't know if you can see that. You you probably won't be able to. But I get it. That is absolutely. Oh, that's just a surprise. I like there that. You go. I'm, ha that. I'm happy with a watch without it like that, and that just makes it even better. So overall, I think it's a perfectly classic case size with fantastic finishing. It's, that's it. It's so well finished. If the lug to lug. If you read in the lug to lug, you think, oh god, that's far too big. But it sits on the wrist. No, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's a got, fantastic watch. You know the the brushing, the polishing all around it is so well done. It's um no, it's just a really really good watch for the money. So uh, to summarise, basically for a thousand pound, you cannot go wrong. Pick the colourway you want, and you, you will be really happy with this really, watch. Really and they don't even drop down in value, do they? They don't come up on the second hand market very often. So I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, don't overlook them. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I think that's a good enough. 
I mean, I think I think you're right. Yeah, really, really good. Happy days. So yeah, if you've liked this video, please subscribe, give us a follow on Instagram, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye. -bye.